Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today, or actually yeah, today, the Hotel uh, New York Art of Marvel opened up at Disneyland Paris and there's some interesting concept art for the Avengers E-Ticket attraction. Um, most of it is old. Most of it is old and I, it could be actually all of it is old. I've been hearing that this is what they've been showing at D23. I didn't go to D23, but I just saw the images that came from D23. Or at least the word in the presentation. Maybe there are some other ones that I didn't see. So, a couple of these are new to me. And I'm, I'll point out which ones. But these we've seen before. Um, obviously, this first picture is the uh, Avengers HQ building. I believe that was going to be at least a gift shop uh, while we're waiting for the actual attraction. But... It looks absolutely gorgeous in real life, and I, I haven't yet seen it at night. I'll be at Disneyland on July 16th, uh, so maybe then I'll see it at night time. But, now this building, of course, this is where the um, Taskmaster stunt show is with Black Widow and Captain America. And of course, the, the right portion isn't built yet because that's the indoor queue for the eventual Avengers E-Ticket attraction. Which, because this concept art is here, and it's displayed in the hotel, uh, I think it's definitely still coming. This is, of course, something we've all seen. The, the, the Flight of Passage Star Tours type of ordeal, where you're all in the quinter together, then you drop out of the jetpacks. By the way, sorry about the quality. These are, again, from WDW News Today. Not sure who took them, if one of their staff members took them, or they just took them from somewhere, but there's an obvious glare with the picture of some of these pictures, like this one. But again, this is a photo you've seen before, but I'm, I decided to show all of them instead of just the new ones, or what I thought was the new ones, because they just look so gorgeous. And I'll just to remind you what the Avengers E ticket was about. If it gets built in its current form, then... um. You'll be in that star towards like for a flight of passage like setting, then you'll jump out into jetpacks into into Wakanda, and you'll go ahead and defeat Thanos and his army. It's well, it seems like this is one of the images that seems at least new to me. More the exterior or the indoor queue portion. Or may have seen it before. But maybe there's different lighting, but it looks new to me. And there's like a Quinjet or hangar right there hanging up, and you're obviously in the hangar bay. And this is probably before a pre-show or after a pre-show. But it's just really cool. It reminds me of like... Semi like the Avengers version of the Rise of Rise of the Resistance. Because it's just so big. It's like a hangar bay. Obviously there's no screen that shows you're in space or anything. But you're not in space. You're on the ground this time. So that wouldn't make any sense. But I, just, I feel like it's just want to be one of those massive rooms. And anything massive is really impressive to me. So I'm sick. Again, if it gets built in this current form... I would be super excited to um, to see this. The next image is, of course, the massive screen you'll be fighting, and this shows the the uh, the guests. You guys in the or us would be in the jetpacks in Wakanda, and there's Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and they'd be. Well, actually, I don't know if you're in Wakanda. You actually look like you may be in like New York. I see a skyscraper there. But either way, you're defeating what I assume is Thanos' army. Rumor has it, by the way, according to the Disney Dish podcast, that this Friday is delayed not only due to COVID, but because of the unfortunate passing away of Chadwick Boseman. Um, he, they said the rumor was that guests want to see the audience reaction, or the audience, yeah, the reaction to uh, 2022's Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Fantastic, perfect title, by the way. And if that if the movie reception is good, then they'll go ahead with this attraction. If it's not too great, they'll still go ahead with the attraction, but they'll change the the Wakanda scene um, into a, a different, basically a different storyline. Same attraction, different storyline. So be in the jetpack, so probably defeat Thanos' army, but be on Titan or something, or maybe in just New York. This is also another piece of concept art that seemed. New to me, at least. Again, let me know in the comments if you if these if you've seen these before, that these two new ones that I've mentioned because I I don't remember them. They could have released them at D twenty three, but I don't personally don't remember them because uh, I actually think that the Earth or that planet there is so gorgeous. It's 
beautiful. And again, shows how you're in the jetpacks. Um, each guest would be somehow separated from that the the group seating and the star tours fighter passes like seating into you know your own flying jetpack, which is almost like flight of passage I guess two point oh, which is pretty cool. Of course there'll be a giant screen around you, but honestly I know people hate screens. I hate screens too. I love animatronics, but I feel like Mar with Marvel um, in Star Wars, you almost have to do screens. At least, not all the time, but a portion of the ride. Just like Rise of the Resistance has to be uh, screens incorporated because you're in space. But there's plenty of animatronics. But just like with um, Marvel, I think even more so, though, you're in space. But it would be really cool to see these animatronics in... Well, actually, just kidding. I guess Star Wars, you're definitely more so in space because their Earth doesn't exist. But um, it would be really awesome to see animatronics in some of these attractions. But I get it. It's kind of hard with the Marvel and Star Wars because of the space otherworldly factor, which we all love. Then there's even a little plaque, a little uh, description of what this says. And uh, it's kind of blurry on my end because it's programming software, but it should be very clear on your end. I'm going to try to read it. It says... As in Paris, an Avengers campus has an has a has been ex existed or continued in this location, and I actually it gets very blurry <laughs> from the rest. But basically, they're saying there's an Avengers campus in Car and and California, and there's an Avengers campus in Paris, and there'll be kind of an Avengers campus in Hong Kong. I don't I'm not sure if they're calling that Avengers campus. Or if that's just a Marvel area in Tomorrowland. Which is pretty awesome. And I'm curious what Hong Kong's e-ticket e attraction is. I'm surprised it hasn't begun con construction yet. Because that looked different. Much different than our e-ticket attraction. So I wonder if there is a unique roller coaster. Maybe like something like Cosmic Rewind. But I'm curious about Hong Kong's e-ticket attraction. Because they can use all the attractions. Uh, they can get because it is a small park but with COVID I hope it didn't dismantle that one just like I hope COVID didn't uh, wreck this one the California Metro really needs another uh, major attraction as well so again another park needs all the attractions it can get and Marvel's hugely popular so I feel like both e-tickets or all three e-tickets Paris, California and Hong Kong in some shape or form will all be built but what do you guys think of these well, new to me and old concept art that you kind of forget because remember we we haven't seen this since 2019 it's been two years now and uh you guys may have forgotten what was proposed um that's like super super fans and just love marvel but if you had someone who doesn't care about marvel may have forgot what was proposed but you guys still like this ride system would you prefer a captain america or avengers roller coaster i wouldn't mind if they changed up to that myself and not just a rethemed Tron coaster, but maybe something like Cosmic Rewind or some original unique roller coaster. That would be really cool. But uh, Or do you like this Flight of Passage Simulator jetpack type system? Do you think the e-ticket is definitely coming, even with this new concept with this new concept art? Or with, this con with them even just showing concept art? Do you think that is uh, more of a visual confirmation or a visual clue that we ha they haven't given up on the e-ticket just yet? Let me know all that in the comments below. Uh, subscribe for more theme park updates. Also, if you like, join as a channel member. You get some awesome early access to videos and live streams and potentially um, video series like the Super Nintendo World Construction Update, which is very popular. It might go members only, at least early access for members only. So consider joining, pressing that join button, checking out all our awesome perks. Well, that is it for this nice quick update. On the e-ticket, I, I hope it comes. I'm a massive Marvel fan, and Avengers Campus is only four acres, so I can definitely use it. Um, even it can also use an expansion to Hollywood Land, but uh, that's for another video. Otherwise, otherwise, have a fantastic, uh, have a fantastic day.